When I first heard of it, my doctor explained it as a bug, just in my bone, eating it. And so that's how I've always explained it, just like a little lady bug, just like trapped in my bone, like trying to find their way out like Pac-Man. Addie was first diagnosed with Gorham's disease in April of 2014 after an x-ray showed significant damage to the bones in her shoulder area. Several MRIs and other treatments had the disease in remission until Addie's collarbone broke about a year later. The disease became more aggressive and began to spread into her neck and ribs. This forced doctors at Denver's Children's Hospital to begin radiation treatments 22 since June. But Addie won't let you feel sorry for her, maintaining a very active lifestyle. After the first like two weeks, it just got easier and easier. And then it just felt like a normal day, like going out and playing. After Addie's mother died, Ryan and Mikhail Farley provided Addie and her siblings a home and a family. Mikhail says the scariest part of this whole experience has been the unknown. Addie's been amazing. She's been very strong. She's been very positive. It's been really important that we've had good attitudes and that we don't worry about things that we can't change and that we just live every day and enjoy ourselves. And we, when something comes up, we do, do what you have to do and then you keep going. <laughs> Addie will be starting sixth grade at Target Range School this fall and looks forward to her reading class and hanging out with friends. But for now, she's more than happy playing with her dog Kona and hanging out at the river. She says getting down about her condition is just a waste of time. It's not as bad as it seems. Having radiation and like going to the doctor. <sighs> it's, it's, sometimes it's fun. When I just like mope around, it just makes everything so much worse. In Missoula, Don Fisher, MTN News.